Welcome to another lockdown learning session with myself, Paul Holland. And in this session, we are looking again and revising how to tell the time in German. Welcome to this session of lockdown learning on telling the time. Always a useful thing to have learnt, actually, in a modern language. Obviously, in exams, it comes up at some point where you'll have to recognise or you'll have to try to tell the time. But also, if you ever go to visit or, or live in some of these places, uh, then obviously um, there will come times when you need to ask what time it is and you'll need to understand the reply. Um, or somebody comes up to you on the street and asks you what the time is. As a languages teacher and as a languages learner myself, uh, telling the time is always a rather interesting one to, to study because it takes very, very little time just to go over the basics of how a language uses a particular system for getting around the clock face. And um, one of the interesting things is that um, once you've learnt those systems, it's pretty straightforward. What you need to know are your numbers. Do you know your numbers really, really well. Once you've got those in place and you understand how the different systems work, then you can tell the time. Okay, so let's have a look at how this works in practice then, shall we? Um, first of all, here are the questions that you might be asked or that you might ask if you want to know what time it is. Wie viel Uhr ist es? Or really common as well, wie spät ist es? That means how late is it? And uh, perhaps in an informal situation as well, wie viel Uhr haben wir? Uh, how many hours have we got, basically? Uhr means a clock face, and it doesn't. it's not the normal word for hour. The normal word for hour is Stunde, uh, but this is a clock face, Uhr, and that's the way that it works in German. So let's have a look at the basic clock face here. Here it comes. And if you wish to say a particular hour um, in terms of uh, what time it is, uh, it's three o'clock, it's four o'clock or something like that, then you always have S ist something Uhr. And you'll notice that Uhr, because it's a noun, because it's a clock face, Uhr uh, has a capital U. So S ist zwei Uhr, it's two o'clock. S ist fünf Uhr. Es ist acht Uhr, es ist elf Uhr. And all of these also work if you wish to say not it is 11 o'clock, but at 11 o'clock. So let's meet at 11 o'clock would be um elf Uhr. Here's a few more for you. Sechs Uhr, neun Uhr. Here's one to watch out for, uh, one o'clock, uh, the number one you'd normally expect it to be eins, that's the number one. When you're telling the time, you drop the S. S ist ein Uhr. However, that's only if you're saying the o'clock time, as you'll find out later if you say 20 past one, then the S comes back. 20 nach eins. There are two special times of the day, of course, there's midday and midnight. Now, just like in English, you can actually just say 12 o'clock. And it's obvious what time you're meeting. You're meeting in the middle of the day, it's 12 o'clock uh, and the sun's shining. But if you want to use the special words, you've got these here. Mittag and Mitternacht. And you can see here, exactly as in English, uh, you've got the word day, tag, and the word night, nacht, embedded into the word itself. Now, let's have a look in more detail in terms of uh, exactly what time it is. Um, here's the clock face. Again, we're going to look at the times between three o'clock and four o'clock. Now, there's the most traditional way, the way that perhaps most of us generally learn the time when we first learn it, uh, and it works in exactly the same way as in English. Um, you say a quarter past and then the hour at uh, 10 past and the hour. Once you reach half past, it becomes a little bit more complicated. As in English, we count towards the next hour, quarter to four, 
10 to 4. Um, but there's an extra complication in German when you reach half past. We'll look at that in a moment. Um, so let's start with the big ones first. Uh, you'll always have the number three at the end. So there it is at the bottom, drei. And if you wish to say a quarter past three, it is viertel nach drei. And a viertel has a capital V in this, strictly speaking, because a viertel is a noun. It's a quarter. And the word nach just means after. So viertel nach drei. And here we've also got fünf nach drei. And particularly with these smaller minutes, perhaps you might say fünf Minuten nach drei, zehn Minuten nach drei, but zehn nach drei works as well. Zwanzig nach drei, fünf und zwanzig nach drei. Now comes the one thing that can cause real problems in German. They begin counting the half hour towards the next hour. So the next one is not halb drei, it's halb vier. It catches a lot of people out, especially in real life situations when you've arranged to meet somebody at halb vier and you're there an hour late because you thought it was half past four. No, it's half past three. Halb vier. And then counting up towards the next one is pretty straightforward. Fünf und zwanzig. Vor vier. Now we put the word vor in here. Uh, you don't need it with the halb, they just say halb vier, but they do say four, which means before. So going towards four now. And the next one, 22, is going to be 20 vor vier, viertel vor vier, zehn Minuten vor vier, fünf vor vier. Don't forget that with the longer words like fünf und zwanzig, or later on when we come across other ones like fünf und dreißig, fünf und vierzig, that these are written as one single word in German. There are some parts of Germany, particularly in the east and the south, where they have an, an extra level of complication. They count the quarters all the way through to the next hour. This is nothing that you will need at GCSE. Many Germans don't even really understand it, but in some parts of Germany, instead of saying quarter past three, they say viertel vier. In other words, it's a quarter of the way towards four o'clock. Then halb vier for half past three and drei viertel vier for quarter to four. You do not need to know this for GCSE, uh, but you may find yourself in a part of Germany where they do use this system and uh, and it may throw you uh, and it all adds to the colour of an already complicated language, doesn't it? And so if 20 past 3 is 20 Minuten nach 3, we can go even more accurate and say 23 minutes past 3, 23 Minuten nach 3, we can say 13 minutes to 4, 13 Minuten vor vier, 12 minutes to four, 12 vor vier. But of course, as you know, in all of these languages, there's another way to tell the time, and that is by having the hour at the beginning of the phrase and counting the numbers of the minutes all the way around so that you end up saying, instead of quarter past three, 315. And instead of saying five to four, you say, 3.55. So what we'll do with this is we'll put the three o'clock element in the middle and this is going to stay here right the way through. There's no counting towards four this time around and we'll just go all the way around the clock. So S is drei uhr fünf. S is drei uhr zehn. Drei uhr fünfzehn. There's your quarter past. 3.20 Uhr, 3.25 Uhr, 3.30 Uhr, 3.35 Uhr, 3.40 Uhr, 3.45 Uhr, that's the quarter two, 3.50 Uhr and 3.55 Uhr. 
And of course, we can do this for smaller numbers as well. Uh, we can say 347, and that will come out as 3 Uhr 47. You notice with all of these, you need to say the Uhr. You don't just say the 3 as in English, 355. You have to say 3 Uhr 55. But apart from that, it's effectively the same. How do we know whether we're talking about a time in the morning or the afternoon or the evening? Well, in English, we use these AM and PM uh, letters, or we say eight o'clock in the evening. Uh, in German, uh, they have the same equivalent. You can say am Morgen, perhaps more commonly am Vormittag. If it's something that happens regularly in the morning, you could even say Morgens with a small M and an S. Am Nachmittag. And in the evening, am Abend. But of course, there is also the 24 hour clock, which is very often used on the continent in Germany, particularly for train times or in particular uh, formal situations and uh, official uh, documents. You'll have the 24 hour clock. So for this reason, you must know your numbers from 13 right the way through to 24. Once you've got them, it's the same system as we've just been using um, in the last section. So if you want to say 6.30 in the evening, you could of course say uh, halb sieben am Abend if you wanted to or sechs Uhr dreißig am Abend. But of course, the other way to say it is 18 Uhr with the Uhr there. We don't say 1800 hours like in English, we just say 18 Uhr 30. Quarter past eight in the evening, 20 Uhr 15. Or 25 past 10 in the evening, 22 Uhr 25. Good. Hopefully you are now an expert in telling the time in German and understanding it if it's told back to you. Um, if you found that useful and interesting, please subscribe. Thank you. And um, hopefully you'll find something else on my playlists that will also be of use to you in your language learning and some other bits and pieces. Goodbye. <laughs>